Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, where I'm going to try out the newly released Got Friends Astro One, which is a nifty little thing that I believe would be good for sightseeing. It's basically a quadcopter is in an octocopter. It seems like it might have eight blades there, but yeah, it's sort of a personal scooter kind of thing. It's not that fast. It can't go very high and it doesn't last very long apparently, but we'll test that. These numbers are never particularly accurate. And I didn't really see numbers on the website either. So I'm gonna have to test it out to see what it can really do. Uh, they have a lot of liveries and the place to get it right now is the Got Friends website and it costs $10 at the moment, but uh, the price is gonna go up. It's an introductory price. And I tend to like the Got Friends planes. They have a nice selection. And of course they also did that April Fool's joke plane. Uh, that was interesting where you had to put coins in the slot in order to keep it running. So I sort of like that and I decided to give this a try and see if it can be a good sightseeing craft for the photogrammetry. So really getting into the roadways and close up to the buildings kind of thing. It's electric I suppose so it doesn't have any weight for fuel. And we'll see how that works out for us. I'm gonna try and take it around Tokyo. I haven't flown it yet. This will be my first try. And we will see how it goes. Okay, here we are. Um, I was already reading some knots there. I guess that's because of the air. Because it doesn't seem to be running at all. Okay, well. Are we already started? Oh, oh, gosh, it's already started. Oh, I already crashed. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Well, I, I'll have to make sure that when I throttle up, I don't go below 25 very quickly because basically I still had throttle there. I didn't immediately go down to zero, but it went so low that it immediately smacked into the ground. So a big difference between, let's say, 35 and 50. Okay, so I'm about 50% throttle right now. And yeah, boy, do you get a close look at the buildings, huh? So this is a helicopter pad. I don't know what added this, but... I presume this just goes with helicopter controls. It's got a hover mode, a track mode, a sport mode. It comes with its own track in Moab, but it looked a lot like those uh, races in GTA, in GTA Online. So I don't really want that in here necessarily. I don't know if a lot of people buy these and we start races maybe. Let's take a look outside. I mean it, outside is not really where it's at with this. I don't even I don't ever want to see this from the outside to be honest. So yeah let's see now. Well let's get into the mix with the buildings here. I don't know I can see the throttle. I don't see like how much battery we might have. Oh, it is the battery thing. It's in gray though. 96. Oh wow, we're, we're using a lot though. But yeah, obviously quite a good view. I mean, you can look straight down. With Track IR you really could uh, look straight down. And yeah, there are eight rotors all together. I don't know to what extent they actually have realistic flight dynamics with this thing. I got the feeling that the goal was fun more than anything else, which is what I got it for. So I did not expect a study level octocopter or something like that. I don't know what the best way of turning this is. But I want to go down this road. I want to be like, make a morning commute and like, harass some cars, though uh, the fact that the cars disappear on us isn't all that great for that purpose. I explain 11 or 12 are better than that, they have more car persistence, these sort of pop up. Oh, we've got our left turn here. I guess this is supposed to be a bridge. The only trouble with this whole idea is that you really see the flaws in the scenery. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I wanted to turn right. I wanted to slow down and turn right, but 
That's not how this works. <laughs> Ooh. It's got a lot of momentum in certain directions sometimes. Oop. Ah. Lag. Boo. Are all the cars supposed to be going in one direction? I think there's sort of a mistake here. Some of them are supposed to be going in the opposite direction. But, uh, you know. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. We've got some scenery problems up ahead. Oh, I can't slow down in order to slow down. Come on. Can we hover? Can we hover? I uh, thought hovering would be just clicking that button, but I guess not. Uh, come on, render. Why is this patch so bad? I have Japan, uh, Tokyo, not all of Japan, but Tokyo pre-cached. I've got it in my manual cache. It shouldn't be like this. Hover mode off. Hover mode on. Okay, so we can press these buttons on the stick there. Terrain tracking and sport mode. Don't know what sport mode does right now. But hover mode is keeping me hovering. Well, it doesn't want to render this area. Hmm, right here. It's fine with those buildings over there. But right here, it's not happy. Let me try and go up a bit to get a sense of scope. Yeah, I don't feel like it can climb all that well. It really is just this bit, though. I think, though, that's the Imperial Palace grounds, so it's pretty close to that, just south of the Imperial Palace grounds. Well, anyway, we can't wait for this stuff to clean up. I guess I'll have to move on. Maybe the re oh gosh, maybe the rest of the buildings only mm, only look good from a distance. I have much less lag around here in like the previous version. Well, there's another helipad. I don't know if it's landable or not, so we won't try that. Oh, that must be a government building. Is that like the the Parliament House? The Diet? Is it a Diet? I think it's a Diet. Okay, we'll follow this road here. The trees are a little bit daunting though. I don't mind going between buildings, but trees sort of stick out and you never know which branch is bad. There's too many trees there. Ah! 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 Oh. Okay, I collided. But we're starting with 75% battery, it looks like. Oh, let's go over to uh, Tokyo Tower there. I mean, if I try and fly it like a plane, maybe that's the way to go as far as maneuvering it. Instead of trying to yaw my way around as if it's a helicopter. I think that's safer. Is there a little thing my jig there? Little special buildings in the middle here, but they are generic though, I think. Okay, Tokyo Tower. And let's take a uh, roadway this... Um, let's go... S uh, the roads aren't exactly very clear around here. Hold on. Okay, you. You look like a good road. I'll choose you. What is that U-shaped thing? That's interesting. 
don't know what that was supposed to be. Coco. You can fly around and be advertised to in great detail. Sanyo. Um, well, that's a lot of tree. That's a lot. That is the Bijan Habashi tree pack doing this. That's a lot more tree than I need right now. Well, there are uh, Japanese sci-fi things that are sort of like this, where the trees like subsume the buildings. So I guess it's right. <laughs> I guess it's a legit way to go. It is a nice big road here. I'll have to get an external map to help me out with identifying what road I'm on and that sort of thing now that I've got this. And I can pretend to be a little commuter in my pseudo Jetson sort of thing. It's the closest thing to a hover car you're going to get. Well, let's go with this railway here, this highway. Well, seems more or less outside of downtown here. I guess that figures. Take a look back. I think this is generic building territory now. I'm gonna take a look at that building over there. There's an interesting roof in front of me. Is that a stadium? Well, anytime I want I can tell it to hover. That's an interesting roof down there too. Looks like a boat. Well, it's probably a site of some kind. I don't know what that is, but looks fancy. If I turned on the landmarks, the point of interest markers, we'd find out. But I'll look it up later. Doesn't have any landing gear to retract or anything. Well, there's a stadium. With the hover mode, it should be easy to land inside of it. Let's hover. Oh, right. On the... Hover. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. It's clearly covering part of the... I think there's one version of the stadium overlapping another version is the problem there. Yeah. There's a nicer one that's bigger and then there's one inside that's messing it up. Oh well, well let's, just, let's not at the line there then. Nice transition as far as hover to non-hover mode. No problems there. Let me try and find Disneyland. There's an airport over there. I mean, I think I can see Disneyland over there. Clearly, uh, it can go higher than was advertised in the menu screen and farther than was advertised in the menu screen, but we are getting low on the battery. But I think we started at 75% this time, so... But yeah, we're at 30% now. I'm just trying to get to Disneyland. Maybe farther. I mean, 20 miles. I, I mean, we haven't covered that much distance in Tokyo. Now, the thing is, I don't know how to refuel this. Yet. Because we can't, like, refuel it in the menu, so there's the throttle and terrain tracking altitude setting there. Front battery, 
I mean, if I click it, what happens? Oh, it gives me this view. Rear battery, front battery. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. The pillar guard removed. Well, yeah, that's probably right. So yeah, as far as recharging is concerned, maybe when we're on the ground, clicking them does something else. These must be the hotels over here. Lots and lots of parking. And then the main complex. And castle. Always gotta have the castle. And land in front of the castle, maybe. It goes down really fast when you throw all down, though. Gosh. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, uh. It's, oh, I'm, I'm going. I went below it. I went below it. There's, there's stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. It, it's just a veneer. Disneyland is just a veneer. You can't land like that. Okay. Well, where am I gonna go then? Whoa, tower. Was there a helipad on those hotels? Maybe. I'm at eight percent battery here. Uh, uh, there's a pa there's an S there. Um, can I land here? I don't think so. It's another one of these buildings. I'm gonna go through, right? Yep. Oh, there's another one underneath, though. It's layers and layers of S. Ah. Okay. Hold on. When when I'm landed, how's the battery situation now? Okay, so the battery has persistence as far as its state, so we're at 6% still. Now, I'm going to put the propeller guard on. Um, front battery 100. Oh, when I click on the batteries now, they can charge up, I think. Okay. So on the ground, I guess clicking on them charges them, maybe. I don't know if that works in the air. It, it seemed like clicking them in the air did not recharge them. So hopefully that is the situation. Yeah, realistic situation for charging them up, I guess. So yeah, propeller guard. Let's see how this looks outside. That's how we are. So anyway. That is the Astro One from Got Friends. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.